Hi guys, this is Madhubar John from MJC Designs. In today's lesson, we are going to look at how I light up my stereo rendering. I use dome light and sun. I'm in the dome light, I also use HDRI images. Let's get started. So I'm going to try to render. I'm going to try to render. You see how the image will come out. There's no light. It's quite dark. So I'm going to stop it right now and try to put the light. I want it to be a day light rendering. To the top by pressing T on your keyboard. Then I'm going to go to light. Light. Click here, go to V-Ray, go to V-Ray Light, and then you select Dome Light. So when you select Dome Light, you just drop it somewhere here. That's the Dome Light there. That's the Dome Light there. So we have our Dome Light. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to go to modify and check the settings of our dome light. Our dome light, the, 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 the multiplier is 1. I'm going to change it to 50. I'm going to check the, the filter, which is the color. It is white. I want it to be white. And that's it. We'll come back to it later. So I'm going to put my son. Please pardon my voice. I have I have cough, so but I promised myself that I was going to make a tutorial today. So I don't want my voice to be an excuse why I didn't do it. So so I'm going to put a sun. Go to light. Very sun. Then come somewhere here and drag drag the targets down to your project. You click no because I don't want to use the map. I'm going to use my map. So I go I press F for my keyboard to go to the front elevation so that I will be able to see my son. Then I will drag my son upward. Fully it upwards. So, go to my camera, press F3 on your keyboard to go to the shaded mode, then this is it. I first thing I did was to put my dome light and I increased the multiplier to 50. Second thing I did was to put my sun. I'm also going to check the sun settings, but let me render and see what it looks like. Render a portion. If you notice the lighting is too much, and the lighting is too much, so I'm going to try to go to my sun settings and reduce it. To reduce my sun settings, my sun set my sun is already selected, so obviously the parameters will be out. So I'm going to go to the intensity multiplier. The intensity multiplier is one, but I'm going to change it to 0 0.4, 0 0.4. While the size multiplier, the size multiplier is one, which is going to make the shadow very very sharp. Okay. So, but we don't want the shadow to be very sharp. I'm going to show you the, what I mean by sharp. Then that part, where there is shadow. You see what I mean by when the shadow is sharp. As you 
can see it's not as sharp as before so the more you increase it the more it gets my dad so i think i'm going to leave it like this okay i'm going to leave it like this i'm going to leave it like this or maybe we can still increase it to 15. Okay, and increase this one to 500 which is the phantom 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 emit radius as you can see see the shadow as you can see the shadow so the more you increase it the more it gets my down the next thing we are going to do right now is is to if you noticed if, if, you, if you notice rather that this notice this look at this is the sky okay it's white so that's why our ambience is quite white we are going to put an HDRI image this how you don't like it and we see how it looks the realistic feeling will come out and you will see the difference so first of all go to our press it on your keyboard to open up the environment dialog and then you press M on your keyboard or you click this to go to your material, material editor then you drag you take you drag your sky and put it actually there is there is there is there is there is an HDRI image on it before so I'm going to remove it totally I'm going to remove it because I, 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 this is this and process, and I'm going to remove it and show you how I come up with that. I'm going to remove it. So, what we are going to do now is get material. HDRI, yeah. So now, CBA HDRI click double click close this then we locate our area image I'm going to use this one and change this to spherical Okay, so I'm going to use this and change this for vertical. So if you notice, the background is not showing. The background is not showing. See, the background is not showing. So we want the background to show. We want the background to show. Then we press our eight. We drag this inside our environment map. And make it instant okay it has shown now right so then we go to our we have to select our dome light you can select it from here that is if you use 3ds mass 2014 and above i think you can select it with it there's an option here where you can select it but then i'm not going to use this i'm going to select light manually for those that are still using old version click light so that if i click i'll just click select light so if you select it go to modify here and drag this we come to the texture here and drag this drop it here keep it to instant okay so this is this is this is because we want the atmosphere to to be realistic. We want the HDRI to give it the realistic ambient occlusion, the realistic feeling. So instead of being whitish, we have to have some kind of you know bluish texture, bluish occlusions on the on the, on the building and environment. So 
that being done uh, we are going to check this guy is okay okay this guy is fine but then see if you notice my sun direction my sun direction is coming from right hand side yeah from the right hand side so obviously i want the sun the shadow of my hdri to be caused to also come from the right hand side so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to off the sun okay but before then let me show you what the rendering looks like after adding hdri in your doom light Have to notice now I don't need to tell you I don't need to tell you which one looks good and which one looks more realistic it's so obvious you should know the one that looks more realistic right this one on the right hand side looks brighter and it is not realistic okay this one here it looks a little bit dimmer but it is realistic now we can adjust the brightness and the contrast in photoshop but this on the left hand side it's more realistic this is how this is how um, this is how it should look like. The angle location has to be like this to correspond with your sky. The sky is not totally white, right? So it's, it's, it has a mix of blue and white. So you have to have the feeling and the beauty. That is what we call ambient location. So, what next? I was saying that we are going to look at the shadow of the dome light. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to off the sun, put off the sun to see the direction of light coming from the HDRI. I want it to correspond with the sun direction so that there is not going to be conflict of shadows. So, so this is it it looks like <coughs> it looks like there is no obvious sun direction then that means we are safe we are safe that means there is no conflict, conflict of shadows so that means we are safe so actually it looks good like this for those of us that doesn't like using the sun the sun is just for the day daylight like the afternoon rendering why this one looks like the morning morning that which is um, the break of dawn or maybe you might say the dusky time the, one, the break of dawn or the dusky time the dusky time you always have light i always love to put light in the exterior so that you look a bit lively but if i don't want to use that i normally use my sun to avoid all this stuff so that's it so i'm going to turn on my son because there's no conflict the shadows there's no conflict the shadows are nice no obvious direction so i'm going to turn on my son and we are getting to this tutorial as you can see so this is the outcome of our rendering now 
we have not actually touched this on Photoshop. Okay, this is the raw file. This is the raw render. We have not touched this on Photoshop. This is the raw render. This is this is just how it looks like from the default render. So if you touch this on Photoshop, increase the contrast a bit and adjust some colors and all that, put some effects, some rails and all that on Photoshop, it is going to look very, very realistic. Okay, that maybe I will take on other video. And we also have some, some passes rendered alongside it. Okay, these are you have the reflection, different passes you use on Photoshop to, to edit the image. So, I still remain mad about John. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to share to your friends. Don't forget to share to your friends. Alright, that's it.